Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm going to see if I can catch bass on this. Gary Yamamoto 5 inch crawdads. These are over 10 years old. Notice the packaging. This is the packaging from the mid to late 2000s. Here's what they look like. Sort of a light green on the bottom, dark green on the top. There we go. Let's get this Texas rigged. See if I can catch a bass on a 10 year old Yamamoto. All right, what I noticed about this right away, it has a Senko style body right here, and then a flat hand poured craw look to it on the other side. Let's see if I can catch a bass with this. It's a little bit larger than the craws I usually throw. A little bit longer anyway. We'll see. Just slowly dragging that along the bottom. Every once in a while I might give it a few twitches. fish on the 10 year old Yamamoto there's a bass right here nice there we go Let's get that out of there there he is getting close to a pound got him on that 10 year old Yamamoto this fish doesn't know any better Happy to get one. Let's let him go and see if I can get another one. Get my lure straightened out. There we go. This is what I got him on. Yamamoto 5 inch crawdad. Alright, let's see what water temperature I just got that bass in. fifty six point one degrees this water's not really warming up but I'm glad there are still fish around oh into the tree yeah back damn it hello Got it back. Wrestled with it for a minute. Finally came loose. Well, my line's a little chewed up. I'm going to retie it. After all that, I'm missing a claw. It occasionally happens out there in the wild. Crawfish missing a claw. Let's go try over there for a minute. Oh, got off. It was just a little one. Did you see him? He wasn't even big enough to take the whole bait, I bet. But I felt him hit it, and I had him hooked for a second. That was pretty crazy. This bait's getting a little torn up, but it's still in one piece, so I'm going to keep fishing it. We'll see what happens. Check out the beaver's progress real quick. 
Looks like he's got an inch or two to go. We'll try a few more casts over here at the boat launch. Let's go try somewhere else real quick. Here I am at the final spot I'm going to try tonight. It's a lot muddier over here, but we're going to throw the same thing and see what happens. All right, time to put on a fresh 10-year-old Yamamoto. There we go. Let's see if we can get anything. We'll start over here at the boat launch. It's got about six inches of visibility. Much darker. Much murkier. What is this? It was a line. I wonder if the old boat launch was right here. I don't know why they would have a slab here otherwise. Great, caught that line again. Let's see. Hey, there's a bobber. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Caught another lure today. Caught a bobber. A few split shots, snap swivel, and a hook. I'm keeping the bobber, I'm throwing the rest out. A few of you may have noticed I'm wearing a yum hat. You might be saying to yourself, why is he wearing a yum hat? Is he sponsored by yum? No. Is he kissing yum's ass to try and get sponsored? No. Did he find the hat at Walmart for two and a half dollars? Yes. And it matches my car. All right, here we are to pick a new winner for the complete Texas rig starter kit. The previous winner, Dillingham MI, did not claim it even after I sent him a message. I gave him a few weeks and I think that's fair. So it's time to pick a new winner if he does end up contacting me, I'll make it up to him. We'll work something out. Gotta load the comments for the video. I'm drawing the winner from the same video as last time. Complete Texas Rig Starter Kit Bass Fishing Lures Giveaway. 1,137 comments. The button's a little small. I'm going to try and line this up so I can get it on the first tap. Did it pick a winner? Let's see what it says. No, nope, it didn't. All right, the button's so small. Did it pick? It did pick. Rick Lawson. All right, Rick Lawson. Great Lures, hope I win. Rick Lawson, you need to contact me either through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just get a hold of me and claim this. All you need to do is give me your shipping information and I'll get this sent out to you. I also want to give a quick shout out to Eric Baxter. He sent me some lures in the mail. Let's take a look here. Got some creature baits. Got some twin tail grubs. Here's a unique lure. This is like a bottle cap lure. I've never tried one like this before. Pretty interesting. And once again, congratulations to Rick Lawson for winning the Texas Rig Starter Kit. Get a hold of me, Rick, or it'll go to someone else. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. 
keep it realistic.